Hey there, I'm Luke the Cooking Camper along with Zena the Glamper Camper. We're just chilling at home and we found something on YouTube that we just had to try right away. Homemade pineapple pop. Now I was super excited because growing up I used to love drinking pineapple pop. So if you want to see how I turn this into a refreshing summer beverage, keep watching. He calls for three sticks of cinnamon, three pieces of cloves, and I could not find any um solid pieces of star anise, but I have the ground variety, so I'm just gonna do some of that. Now in his video, he did toast the spices, which I forgot to do, but I just mashed them up in there, and now he says to top this with water. He doesn't say how much water to use, however, and after watching his video a couple times, it looks like he ends up with about two liters or eight cups of liquid, and to me, really, I guess after this is drained, I have no idea how much is going to be left, but I'm going to start by adding about four cups of water, I believe. Just for good measure, I'm going to put in one more cup. Well, we've got our first extremely messy step completed. So I've got the sugar with the pineapple and the water and the spices and the lemon juice and lime juice all smushed together in here. Now we're just supposed to let that chill out for a couple of days. Now, I'm, it's not really clear on whether this is going to be pop or if it could actually have the ability to turn into alcohol. I've done some research on this and I don't think it will turn into alcohol because it won't be fermenting long enough and once I refrigerate it then the fermentation process will slow down a lot or totally stop. I hope. I'm not a scientist, I haven't really done this before, this is my first time fermenting anything. Now I have done some other fermentation research and some things say that it's going to change colors or it's going to get a layer of kind of like gooey looking stuff on the top or the bottom. I'll be keeping you guys updated on what this does over the next four days of fermentation and we're going to see if anything weird happens. We'll see you later. Well here it is after the first day of fermenting. I really want to peek inside but I don't want to mess anything up so I'm going to leave the lid on it. It has pretty much fogged over the whole lid and yeah other than that nothing has changed other than it is giving off a very sweet pineapple scent. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, so our mixture has been fermenting. So I've got a towel here. I just want to make sure that I get all of that, those spices out. Zena's our little sous chef today. Now that weird cook did not use a towel like this, but since I had to use ground, star anise. I wanted to use it so that I kept all of those ground spices from coming through into our finished product. When you are fermenting anything at home, you need to make sure that you get a bottle that's designed for that because these can build up a lot of pressure and if you get a bottle that's not safe for that it could possibly break. But yeah, like I said, I got this recipe from that Weird Cooks YouTube. He has some really funny, entertaining videos. You should definitely go check out his channel. Well, I've got our pineapple pop here. Now, I didn't do an update for the third day, the second day in the bottles. It looked exactly the same. Now, I have had it in the refrigerator for a couple of days to stop the fermentation process. I'm going to be honest, I am a little scared to drink it. All of the bottles have got this yellow film on the bottom and I am not sure what that is but I guess I didn't wait four days not to try these so let's try it out. Now it's supposed to have naturally carbonated itself. I 
I mean, it smells like pop. And I don't know if you can see the bubbles. There's a ton of bubbles in there. I mean, it's carbonated. Is it delicious? I'm not sure. I do think it tastes kind of strange. It tastes almost like beer, which I have not had that in a very long time, but yeah, it's kind of a unique flavor. If you like trying new things, you can definitely try out this recipe. It honestly, like it's hard for about 30 minutes and then the rest of the time it's super easy. But yeah, we're gonna thank that weird cook for this unique recipe and definitely try it out. Check out his YouTube channel and have a great one.